So today, Electra Pages at Munich 2022 Electronica. We are at the Samtech booth, and today I'm joined by... Doug Wathen. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming so, by. So could you start by uh, sort of just giving us a quick um, rundown of what it is that Samtech does and the products that you offer? Sure. Uh, Samtech at the core is uh, connectors and cables. We're a manufacturer. We've been in business for over 40 years now. Yeah. Uh, we started out as a kind of basic connectors with a, a exceptional sudden service is what we call it. So we would ship things fast, we would answer the phone quickly, we would recover quickly, uh, just do everything we could to make uh, customers, uh, help them understand that we are the easiest connector company to do business with. And so what kind of services does that include? So it, say, let's say I'm an engineer and I'm mm -hmm. looking to use some high, tech, uh, some high speed cables. What is it that Samtech will actually do for me as an engineer to help me create my products? Uh, that, that is a great question. So uh, backing up just a second, so starting about 20 years ago, right. we started getting into high-speed products. Okay. So high-speed connectors, high-speed cables. <clears throat> so the evolution of what we called service before wasn't enough. We needed to be able to help engineers get the best out of our connectors and cables. Right. So to do that, we, we provide the technical documentation for free, uh, easy access, we will help them with their routings and breakout regions. So making sure that it's not just the connector and we're not just testing the connector, we need to, to help you with how to get in and out of the connector, how to get in and out of the cable. So that's that's the evolution of service. So all the good stuff from before, but now the, the technical help that's required. So you mentioned routing. So does that mean that let's say that I'm building a server rack or a data center? and I've got all my different panels, and I need to get cables from one side to the other side, but I don't know how to actually sort of keep it tidy. Mm -hmm. Is that something that Samtech would be able to look at and then help it, the customer? It, it's possible. Um, I would say thermal management is an area that we have invested in, right. and we do have some unique solutions, mainly within, within the box, mm -hmm. for routing cables and still being able to get the, the proper airflow and, and heat dissipation. Interesting. So. I saw that outside uh, in the demonstration area, you've got some, I think they're twin X cables, and mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, I believe the speed that you were demonstrating at the time, was it 56 gigabits uh, uh, outside? 56 gigabits on that demonstrator, we do have products now that will do 112. And that, if, if I remember correctly, that is that PAM4? It is PAM4. PAM4. Mm -hmm. And so, and how is it that Samtech has been able to produce these cables that can do speeds that basically a PCB just can't do? Uh, that, that is a great question. So w one area that we would point to, and is a, it is an area we feel that we're very differentiated in, is that we've had added these building blocks of technology, starting with high-speed connectors, and then we make our own twin X cable. Right. So we have our own cable plant, we extrude it, we have our own proprietary design of how we do it to get the most performance out of it. And it's these building blocks that we, we integrate them in ways that other companies typically don't. So we don't have business units. We don't have a cable business unit or a connector business unit. We Everything is together. So these groups can work together and produce the highest performance products possible. So you manufacture your own cables and you've, and you, and, and if I remember correctly, you, it's, it's, it's proprietary. So, so it's your own custom hardware. Correct. That's pretty impressive. Um, so I also understand that you're going to be going down the fiber optic cable route as well? That, that's correct. We've been doing fiber optics, mid-board, active optics uh, for about six or seven years now. Mm -hmm. Seven years. And, and, and the speeds, and what, what, what speeds are we currently look, looking at on the optics side? Optics is a little more challenging to get those kinds of speeds, the 112. Yeah. We're, we're, our roadmap is pointed there. Um, right now, I believe it's 56. And you might want to edit this out, so. We can always double check, no, you can, you can keep it in, because it's always important to get the numbers right. But I, because I remember actually talking to an engineer from Samtech uh, about, like, about a week ago, and they were mentioning that um, because of the way that the optic cables have to integrate the uh, active components themselves, yes. which you have to manufacture, correct. so you have limitations in the silicon, is that, is that, is that, that correct? It is limitations in silicon. Yeah. So and yes, the Firefly product that you saw out there, oh, that's right. that, yeah. that, that product will do 28 gigabits, gigabits per second per channel. And then we have a new product in development. We had to use a different format, uh, and that's called Halo. So that Halo product is on the roadmap, it's being developed right now, and that one is targeted to be 112. And is that, and that's a fiber optic cable? It's a fiber optic cable. Interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's a mid-board connector. So the connector goes near the silicon, and then we plug in the active optical engine with 
the, the firefly or the uh, the, the uh, optical pigtail. So, so the engineer's design. So, so the engineer's design doesn't actually handle the optical side of, of the transmission. It, it, I, so, so let's say you've got a data packet, you send that to your uh, your, your front end fiber optic system, which then turns it into a, 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 like a light stream. Correct, and that will go correct. Down. Our, our product converts yeah. electric to optic, yes. And so the engineer doesn't have to worry about trying to find high speed PN junctions and all that kind of stuff. Correct. So basically uh, introduces simplicity into the design. Yes. A lot of us connector companies and uh, most of the companies here at Electronica are experiencing this same thing. We, we call it the technical renaissance. And it's being driven by these major areas that really, in, in the in the history of, of electronics, I don't think we've ever seen this many game-changing technologies happening to drive performance in, in, in our industry. So 5G and future generations, high-performance computing, AI, ML, and Auto 2.0, and then how all of those are working together uh, to create some really interesting things happening in electronics. So it's pushing performance, it's requiring the highest speeds possible, more density, um, fast connectors, fast cables, and what's, hap what's happening is, is this, the silicon has been ahead of us for years, and we believe that now our products at 112 and, and looking, looking forward to 224, we are actually ahead of the silicon. So that, that's, that's the big takeaway from, from Samtech and what we call, and we're able to do this because integration leads to innovation. Again, another, another marketing phrase. Uh, but this is something we believe is very compelling and very differentiated versus our competition. These are the building blocks that allow us to create these unique and super high performance solutions. The building blocks are not buried in silos or business units. So it's, they're, they're all integrated. So when we talk about a product like Firefly, as an example, there's a connector, a high performance connector. Uh, we actually have a cable that will mate to that as well, so a copper cable, and we make the cable, make the cable assemblies. Uh, Firefly itself is an active optical engine, uh, so a mid-board optical flyover. You have to have the optics technology, the integration technology, to again, to be able to get that, that performance. And then, of course, the signal integrity expertise that you, you have to be able to get in and out of these interconnects uh, through uh, optimized layouts, breakout regions, via placements. Uh, but again, th this, is, this is our story. This is the Samtex high performance, high speed story and silicon to silicon solutions. So helping customers get from where the, where the signal started to where you need to go, ultimately, it's not just about the connector or the cable, it's the full system. And and so if you're an engineer today and, and you want to get into Samtech uh, cables and solutions, what would you suggest that an engineer does? So an engineer today that is interested in cables and connectors that Samtech can provide, mm -hmm. that, is, that is your question. Um, first of all, I would, I would contact one of our direct salespeople. Right. Um, you can also contact any one of our technical groups. The signal integrity group is a great one to start with. Um, loads of knowledgeable people, again, back to the, the service culture that we have. Yep. Um, you get real people, email, chat, phone, and very accessible. So those, those people can typically guide and help an engineer pick the right product. If you want to do it yourself, samtech.com has some great tools as well to help guide engineers to the right, to the right solutions. So, so, so engineers have the opportunity to either talk to a human who works at Samtech to figure out what they need, or use tools that you provide online. Correct, or, or both. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you ever so much for your time today. Yeah, and you're very welcome. Pleasure to meet. You too. Thank you very thank much. You.